Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is episode number one for Remix Wednesday. This is SD Home and I am Tiffany and today we're going to focus on how to take one main ingredient, a couple of other little ingredients and make three meals. First we're going to do a garlic roasted chicken with parmesan leeks and melting potatoes. Then we're going to remix and do a potato leek soup. Creamy, warm, delicious goodness. And finally, we're going to do a chicken fettuccine with a creamy leek sauce. Perfect for any Italian date night. Our main ingredients are going to be very simple. We have a five pound oven stuffer roaster chicken. We have some fresh sprigs of thyme, rosemary. Then we have some chopped thyme, chopped rosemary, some finely sliced shallots, some garlic, a half a lemon, some Parmesan cheese, poultry seasoning, white potatoes, cut a half inch thick, and our clean shallots. This is going to be the bulk of your ingredients for your three remixes. Okay guys, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make our compound butter for our chicken. So you're going to take a stick of butter. We're going to do a half a stick of butter. I have some friends that are in love with butter. Gonna take a half a stick of butter, put it in our cute little bowl here. And then we're going to add some of that deliciously chopped garlic. And that is to taste. Some people are huge on garlic, some people are not so big on garlic. I'm huge on garlic, so you know what? I'm just gonna use it all. We're gonna put some of this chopped thyme, some of this chopped rosemary, a little bit of salt, crack some pepper, and we just wanna blend this all together. And this is what we're going to use to put inside of our chicken, under our chicken skin. We're gonna season it up really good. It's gonna be full of flavor and taste amazing. Nice and mixed. And so we're just gonna set that to the side. And then we're gonna go get our chicken. First thing we're going to do is we're gonna fill its cavity. That's the hole where the head was. We're gonna put the full sprigs inside of the cavity. Let's bend it so it can all fit in there. Shove it right in there. We're gonna take our lemon. I'm actually gonna cut this one more time. Stick that in there. And while the chicken is cooking, all of those beautiful aromatics are gonna slowly start to come out. So we're going to lift up the skin of the chicken right here, make nice little area if you want to use your knife. Just be sure not to slice the flesh. And we're going to take some of that beautiful compound butter and we're just going to stick it up under the skin. Just gonna smear it through the skin. It smells so good already. So while that's cooking, all that butter is gonna come through the skin, give this chicken a beautiful color. It's going to be amazing. And then you wanna take these little wing tips, tuck them in, cause they tend to burn. And then we're going to season the outside. And we're going to Season with a little salt, pepper. And then our poultry seasoning. Let's 
sprinkle that generously. The key to making sure your food is flavorful is try not to use seasonings that already have salt so that you can add as much as you like to get that flavor and then add your salt either before or after so that it's not too salty. A lot of these pre-mixed seasonings come, the first ingredient is salt. And so if you add multiples of those, then all of a sudden your food is too salty. You can always add more, but you can't take away. So our chicken is ready to go. We're gonna put him in a pan. We're gonna put him in the oven, 400 degrees, and we're gonna cook it until its internal temperature at the thickest point is at 165 degrees. So you're gonna get a nice little baking pan. You wanna oil the bottom just slightly. And we are going to put our leeks face up inside of the pan. Move around, move around so it can spread that oil nicely. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a little salt. Taste. I'm gonna do a little pepper. And whatever you like to cook your vegetables with, you can definitely use this for. So I'm going to use some garlic, not the compound one. Just the regular garlic. And kind of just smear it in there. And on top, we love garlic. It tastes so good. Put that there, and then we're going to take some of our shallots. We're just gonna sprinkle them right on top. And let that all just cook and melt together. And I'm even going to sprinkle a little bit of thyme. So you just wanna reconstitute flavors. Just keep using them over and over. You'll be surprised if you use the same seasoning, how different your food will taste if you're using it with different things. And then we're gonna put this in the oven as well. So now we have our potatoes and we're getting them ready to do our melting potatoes. So we just wanna lay them all out and we wanna season them generously with some salt. Give them a good flip, do the same thing. Now this is a very easy dish. It's quick, it's fast, full of flavor. And if you wanna cut it in time, you can use uh, a red potato. Those cook a little faster. The chef potatoes tend to be a little denser, take a little longer, but they do have a heartier bite when you're cooking them and can withstand the two types of cooking we're gonna do with this because we're gonna put this in a skillet and then we're gonna finish it in the oven. You wanna turn your stove on to medium high heat. We are going to add a nice generous pat of butter to our skillet. We want to melt that down. We're also going to add some oil. That will help give us a nice brown color. So we got some extra virgin olive oil. Add that to the pan and let that melt and get nice and hot. While we're waiting for that, um, we're just gonna talk about the meal that we're preparing. So right now in the oven at 400 degrees, we have a five pound chicken, our garlic roasted chicken, and we also have our Parmesan leeks in the oven. After that, we're going to sear off our potatoes, throw those in the oven, and then one by one they'll come out and then you'll have your first meal for your Remix Wednesday. So now that our skillet is nice and hot, we wanna grab our potatoes and we wanna add them to the skillet. We wanna cook on each side for about three to three and a half minutes until nice and golden brown. So 
while that is going, we're going to add some of that garlic we chopped from earlier. You know, it's all about flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor. And while that's going, I just want to remind you, remember, you can get a few ingredients and you can create a bunch of other meals. After this meal, I'm going to show you how we do our soup. We're going to do a potato leek soup with mostly the same ingredients and a few other things after that. Hopefully you're already following us on Instagram, Sounds Delicious Home. That's where you can find our affordable fairy tale Monday where we go locally to our low end stores and make high end items. And then on Tuesday, we do our Tablescape Tuesday and we tie it all together. And then hopefully you can catch us tomorrow for Supper Club Thursday where I show you how to make a delicious cocktail and an appetizer to impress your friends. Okay, so now that we have that going nice inside of our pan, we're gonna add just a little bit of rosemary. You know, again, flavor, flavor, flavor. And then we're going to come in, turn this off. We're going to add some chicken stock. You see that? Mm. Already making magic. Already making magic. Oh my God. After that, you're going to put it in your oven and add it with everything else in there. All right, so we're getting ready to take our chicken, our potato, and our leeks out. Let's start with these potatoes. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna grab these leeks. We're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, put them back in just so the cheese can melt. So you wanna take this chicken out, sit it here on your cutting board, let it rest for a few minutes before you cut into it, and then we're gonna plate. And there you have it. Remix one is done. So we have our melting potatoes, our Parmesan leeks, and our garlic roasted chicken. I cannot wait to dig into this. These potatoes are nice and crispy and brown. Melting. Okay. It's melting all right. Nice juicy chicken full of flavor and because of that butter the skin still has a nice little crisp on it amazing and now let's get into these leeks A nice earthy flavor, a nice balanced meal, easy as one, two, three. Let's get on to the second one. So we're on to remix number two. We're going to do our potato leek soup. We want to start with a nice soup pot. Stock pot, saucepan, whatever you want to call it, um, depending on how much soup you want to make. course we're gonna start with our oil that get hot and then we're gonna add some aromatics so we have some shallots you want to throw in there I'll put a little garlic to take a piece of lemongrass. You can find this at your Asian market or an Indian market and you want to cut the root off and then just throw it in there for aromatic. You want your shallots to soften up a little bit and then I like to throw my potatoes in there. One pot shot. We love that kind of stuff. Easy cooking. When I'm at Dollar Tree, I also get aluminum pans. Once I'm finished cooking, boil it up, put it in the recycle, easy cleaning. And then we're gonna add some leeks. I definitely should have added these first, but 
but it's okay. Now you're gonna take a lime, cut it in half, squeeze the juice. So this recipe is really quick, very simple, for those people who love soup all year round, like myself. Got your lime juice. Keep moving everything around. We're just gonna let that wilt down a little bit. So now that we have all of our ingredients in there, we're going to season this. So instead of using regular salt, I'm going to use celery salt. Celery salt is not something you use often, but it does bring a different flavor. We're gonna put a little cracked pepper in there. And for those of you that didn't know, celery has its own high content of sodium all by itself. So like I said, don't add any more salt. You can always add when you taste it along the way. You wanna continue just working this until the leeks get nice and tender. And then after that, we're gonna add some chicken stock. Now if you want to make this a vegan dish, instead of using chicken stock, you can use vegetable stock. And then you have a completely vegan soup. Now we want to add some chicken stock and get this soup working, honey. It doesn't have to come to a complete boil, but you want a little bit of a simmer just so that all those flavors can constitute. And try to get that lemongrass stick down to the bottom under your liquid so that it can flavor everything so nice. Another little tip for when you want to plate this, you want to take your lemongrass, a little bit of oil, and soak it in there, and you can drizzle a little bit of that oil on top of your soup. It's a nice addition to garnish it. It looks really good, and it tastes even better. So now that our soup is coming together beautifully and nice and tender, we're going to turn it off, let it cool down a little bit, and we're going to add it to our blender. But make sure you take that lemongrass out. So now that our soup has cooled down, we're going to do this in batches. You just wanna add this lovely mixture into your magic bullet. And we're gonna blend a little at a time. Make sure you put a nice spoonful of that liquid in there so you have something to work with. The top one. I like to do it in small batches unless you're going to use a blender, but we're not cooking for too many people. Be careful of the heat. That's why you want it to cool down. See that, it's so creamy. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. And we're just gonna keep doing that until we finish the pot. So now that we have blended our soup in our magic bullet, we're going to put it back into the pot, add a little bit of chicken stock to thin it out so it can get that nice texture and viscosity that you want. And then we're gonna give it a taste. going to add just a touch more chicken stock and then I'm going to take that piece of lemongrass put it right back in there 
Remember, flavor, flavor, flavor. Reconstituting flavor at every turn. That's the best way to get your food to taste the way you want it to taste. Don't be afraid. Here we go. Now we have remix number two. Our potato leek soup. So creamy, so fresh, fragrant. Look at that, nice and thick. Mm. For, for you moms on the go, you can put that in a thermos and drink it and be full, fueled up, and ready to take on the world. Remix two down, one more to go. Put this skillet on medium high heat. I'm gonna add our butter. Get that melting. What I love about this recipe is it's very simple. Just get all your stuff and put it in there. Mix it up nice and creamy. Top it on the pasta. Your chicken is already cooked, you're good to go. I know this seems like a lot of butter, but you want to make sure that it's creamy. We are making sauce for pasta. Once your butter is hot, you're gonna add your leeks. Cook them until they get a little bit tender before you add your garlic and your shallots. Now we're gonna make a little well. We're going to add our garlic and our shallots. I like to season my garlic, my onions and things now, just so we can get the flavor going. A little salt. I prefer Himalayan sea salt. They say it's better for you. I just like it because it's pink. So you see these nice bits of shallot and garlic getting a little brown? That's what you want. Turn your heat down a little bit so it doesn't get too dark on you. And we're going to add some heavy cream. We're going to start with a half a cup. Mm. Now we're doing something. Again, turn your heat down. We want this to simmer, not boil, because your milk will cover. Constantly moving the mixture inside of your pan so that it doesn't get too hot in one spot. And if you see anything start to cake up on the sides of your pan, do not scrape that. That will keep your sauce from being nice, smooth, and creamy. You see some steam coming off of that, so we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. We're gonna do half now, then come back and finish with half at the end. go for about three to five minutes let it come to a simmer but make sure that you're stirring constantly so now we see that this sauce is thickening up getting to that nice creamy consistency that we want smells amazing me, myself, I could go for a little more garlic, but I'm trying to be understanding of other people. Mm -hmm. 
So now we're going to turn the heat off. It can slowly cool down. And then we're going to finish the rest of our Parmesan cheese. Try this, baby. Mm. So creamy, so fresh, so clean, so delicious. Sounds delicious. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next upload. See you all tomorrow for Supper Club.